Toileting can be tricky and even dangerous after any injury or knee surgery. In this video I will give you some advice and talk about some products that may be helpful. I will also show you how to sit and get up from the toilet. First, I need to emphasize the danger of a bathroom floor. It can be slippery if wet and very dangerous. If you were to fall in a bathroom there are many hard things including the floor to hit your head on. You may need or want your caregiver or significant other to help you. It is a good idea to take your phone in with you or shower and use the toilet with someone else in the home. Keep the door unlocked, just in case you need help. Consider any limitations you may have now or after the surgery and make sure the space is as safe as possible. Non-slip mats are a good idea and consider permanent or temporary grab bars, depending on your situation. Don't grab a towel holder, shelves, or toilet paper roll as they are not made for that and not secure enough. Some people don't use any of these items, but some of these can make recovery easier. Before surgery, try to imagine how you will feel and how you will be moving. Look for hazards and make room to maneuver using any mobility aids you expect to be using. Try to move unnecessary things and put extra supplies like toilet paper where you will be able to get to them. If your muscles won't be activated you could try a strap around your lower leg, loose pants, or long socks, so you have something to grab to help move your leg at first. There are many options and ways you can make your home safer. A raised toilet seat can help take the stress off your knees and a bedpan or bedside commode can provide a more accessible place to toil it. If you are keeping your leg straight or having trouble bending it, you may want to set it on a step, chair, hamper, or maybe a shower bench. A bidet, squirt bottles, or wet wipes, can help you clean off better. Some people use a handheld toileting slash or wiping aid but it's not as necessary if the knee is your only injury. I would recommend it for some back, hip, and shoulder injuries and some body types. You may be using a wheelchair, crutches, cane, or a walker. You will carefully back up to the toilet or commode until you know you are close enough. Use grab bars if you have them, then slowly lower yourself down, as shown. When you are done carefully ease yourself off and into standing position and grab your walker or mobility aid. I hope this was helpful. Again, here is a list of things you may want to get. I'll try to add a link in the description where you can buy some of these items with free shipping. As always, comment what you think is the most important or what you wish you had for your surgery. I wish you an easy, speedy, recovery. Take care.